life update. You know how you have like that new grad anxiety when you first go into a shift? Actually now per diem. Traveling cube. Working as a camp nurse, which is like super exciting. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna start my vlog later. Hello, oh, good morning. Long time no talk, everyone. Three weeks now. <sighs> it's been quite a long time since I last been here. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine and I am an ER nurse. I have actually been on vacation for the past like two to three weeks, so it's kind of weird to be back. Yeah, today it is June 8th, 7.40 in the morning, back on that work grind. You know how you have like that new grad anxiety when you first go into a shift and like there's this like realm of unknown? That's what it feels like right now because I, you know, haven't worked in like weeks while, so I don't know how everything's going. Um, for people who might be confused, like, how did you take so many weeks off if your job is so new? Um, I'm actually now per diem. Um, little life update. I'm per diem, and my requirement is nights. What's nice about where I work, the fact that you can, as long as you get in your, like, I think it's eight nights, then you're fine. So you can stack all of your nights. Like if you really wanted to do like four nights and then four nights, you could just knock everything out in two weeks. You know how you have the, the excitement of like, oh gosh, sometimes I sort of miss working. The feeling of I miss work usually goes away within the first few hours. But you know, the fact that we're able to like help so many people, especially amidst this like pandemic, that's why I was like, oh, I haven't done this in a while, so. I picked up three shifts this week, so I picked up all day shifts because I was in Florida, and Florida is three hours ahead, so right now it's technically almost 11. So it helped me kind of like readjust. I've been sleeping super early. I'm actually supposed to be required to do like eight nights, but you can kind of pick up whatever shifts you want to as long as you hit your requirement. So uh, I picked up a bunch of days, and then next week I'll do nights. Um, because I need to just get into the work group because it's been quite a while. If you didn't watch my other vlog, I worked a 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. shift. And it's really hard because I'm not acclimated to the way that night shift works yet. And that's only mid shift. But yeah, like I didn't know how their breaks work. Um, I guess what they do is they you take your lunch and then they merge your three together 45 minute last break I think it's either your first break is 45 minutes or your last break is 45 I think something like that knock on wood normally the summertime is a nicer time I know with COVID and everyone pushing back their appointments not being able to see their doctors we had like these really high the lighting like suddenly shifted but okay anyway um at one point, our volumes were super high, especially the end of May. The fact that everyone's been pushing off their appointments or going to the doctors like since COVID started. Um, at some points, these patients are sicker than they should have been. Problematic in the sense that instead of prophylactic treatments, now we're really treating them when their disease is like really progressed. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. Um, anyway, that's my life update. I will see you probably at the end of my shift. Good morning. Please say or spell your first and last name. Jasmine. I'm logging you in as Jasmine. Hi. Hi, good morning everyone. I have done a terrible, terrible job of vlogging this week, my goodness. Today it is June 11th 
and it's Friday. So I did quite a bit yesterday. I just did a very terrible job of vlogging it. I got my nails done. Um, I don't know if it's because I got more tan, but the color I chose looks very, very like vibrant on me now. The last time I got it, or maybe it's a more like opaque color. But yeah, so I got like this peachy pink. And I also went to the gym, and I went to my yoga class, and now my shoulder's hurting quite a bit. I don't know if it's because I slept weird or because of my yoga class. I noticed it this morning, and like, it really hurts to like move around. We did like a lot of planks, I might have like misaligned my shoulder, so that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to another yoga class today, but I'm at work right now. It is 7.40 in the morning. So today I'm working from 8 to 2.30 p.m., which is a glorious shift. Um, it's actually only a princess shift and I picked it up a long, long time ago. I don't really mind. I picked up like a bunch of like 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. shifts on Fridays because honestly, I have like really nothing else to do on like Friday mornings anyway, um, unless we're like going out somewhere. But all of June is pretty much just me um, catching up with work and such. So yeah, let's update as far as that. Another update, I feel like this vlog is just essentially update after update. Um, at Towards the end of June, actually in like two weeks, I am, it's almost like volunteering because they said there might be like a small stipend, but pretty much just your um, service to people. Um, from like June 27, 28, 29, 30th, I'm gonna be, um, working as a camp nurse, which is like super exciting. Um, as a camp nurse, it's an overnight camp, so essentially you're like taking care of these kids. Um, my group is particularly younger kids, and it was interesting the way that I spoke to um, the supervisor on the phone, the way that she described it. Um, so it's funny, because a lot of the camp nurses are also like critical care nurses. Um, like she worked also in the ICU. So it's just a nice way to like step back from acute care and you know. And I also feel like it's like filling that void, the fact that like I never went to summer camp like this. Um, you know, I wanna help, you know, what is it, not endorse, to enhance like these kids' experience too and the fact that like they've been away from, you know, people their age for so long because of the pandemic. I think it'll be really exciting. Um, so yeah, that's the news. The unfortunate part is the fact that there is like no service there. So if you follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat, I know that they have Wi-Fi, so I don't know how good it's gonna work. Um, but I told Alex like I'm probably not gonna be in contact with him for a few days. Um, other than that, tomorrow I'm also working, but it's I offered to pick up someone else's shift just an eight to 12 which is my favorite shift because 8 to 12 is like right when it gets busy you're like out the door doing six hour shifts i think six hour shifts is like such the norm for like everybody else but for me i'm like this is like glorious So I guess this has just become a montage of me just getting into the car. But hey, what's up? Good morning again. It is June 12th, Saturday today. I'm sitting on something, I don't know what. Um, right now, I am going to work again. Big surprise there, I know. Um, the lighting here isn't too great, but yeah, I'm going to work again. I just decided to pick up four hours because my coworker asked me to because he had something to do. So here I am. I'm working four hours on a Saturday morning. I really, honest to God, didn't have very much to do anyway. Um, I was just kind of just hanging out anyway. <laughs> so I have my coffee here. We're going to work four hours and then we're going to get that bread and go home. I wanna go to the gym though afterwards. I wanted to get um, 
some pre-workout or something to help energize me. I don't know if I should stop by. Let's see if I have time. At like Walmart or something. I probably don't have time. Oh, I do have time. should take it easy because I did do like I did like 30 minutes of cardio yesterday and then I also did two hours of yoga so it's a little much but I do want to get some like some sort of like pre-workout so I guess this has just become a montage of me just getting into the car I'm sitting on something I don't know what I'm going to work again lighting here isn't too great but um, I'm working four hours on a Saturday morning I really honest to God didn't have very much to do anyway be here we're gonna work four hours and then we're gonna get that bread and go home I want to go to the gym though afterwards some pre-workout or something to help energize me I don't know if I should stop by let's see if I have time at like Walmart or something we go to Walmart. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. Secure the bag. I'm having, this is like really TMI, I'm having really bad cramps right now. And at my old hospital, I would just put like a hot pack over it, but for some reason, the only hot packs we have here are the little heel packs that we use for like infants when we're gonna heel stick them. So that's unfortunate. I feel like this whole vlog is just me in the car talking to you guys. I don't know if anybody even likes watching this kind of content. <laughs> I am just gonna work for four hours and I'm gonna piece the fuck out. No girl is so dumb. Forgot my badge, bro. How does that even happen? I freaking couldn't get into anything. I had to like nag people for like all my stuff. I hate doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna get changed for the gym and we're gonna work out. Let's get hyped, y'all. Woohoo, we finally made it. Um, my gym membership expires in July and honestly, um, I've had 24 since I was like really, really young. It's like 16 or whatever. And now I'm like 24, so I've had it for a long time. But 24 just like isn't the best anymore. I feel like there's so many other gyms. That the only thing is I like 24 because like there's 24 everywhere you go. So at one point I remember me and Alex went camping, went all the way to Joshua Tree. But we were actually able to, um, that was really annoying. I can't believe that was there this whole time. Actually tent camp and we needed to shower and there's obviously no showers at, when you tent camp. So essentially we stopped at like whatever 24 there was nearby and we just shower there. It's super convenient, but 24 the price is just like gone up substantially. Gym where I would need, um, need a 24 pass. Um, so yeah, I may discontinue it in July. Especially because in July we're doing a lot more traveling. So we're going to New York, we're going to Hawaii. So I don't want a gym membership for that month for sure. My God, it is so insanely hot. I forgot I also have my makeup still on. So I should probably take that off before I go sweat it off in yoga. But I just did a little bit of cardio. So I did 32 minutes before my yoga class. I'm gonna head there before I late because it's not as strict as core power yoga where they like literally lock the doors, but it's still kind of embarrassing if you show up like five minutes late. Not me getting the best parking right in front. I got so lucky. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head inside right now because I have about five minutes before class starts. So I will see you all after class. Much, much, much later. Outfit of the day. From Amazon. These tra traveling cubes. They're pretty cheap. They were from Amazon for like 17 bucks. Do 
you ever get bored and you're like, let's just go somewhere. I want to clean my room. So the plan is we're going to go to, and then I also want to go to Target because shout out to UNAC. They actually gave us a 20 or like $15 gift card for Nurses Week. And I haven't used it yet. And I need a new calendar because 2021, baby, we got to keep our shit going. I'm going to go to Target because it was closer. I don't know. I'm, I haven't vlogged in like, public in a while. I don't know how I'm gonna do with this. What happened to this sign? Back during the pandemic, this was like the date spot for like everyone because Friday nights, Target would be so packed. So I think I like this one. Just really plain and chic. It's like nine bucks. Last year I had this one, but I'm kind of over the whole like border thing. But I do like this whole like projects to do, notes, but this one's just a lot wider. Okay, tell me you don't vibe with this chair. This is so cute. How much is it? It is. I have no idea, but it's so cute. I'm carrying way too much shit right now. Okay, y'all, Target haul. So, I actually have five dollars left in the card, so this is only fifteen bucks. But I got this cute calendar to write down all the shifts that I'm gonna be freaking working. Thanks. Driftwood sea salt to distress because nursing is too stressful. Self care, everybody. I'm not even gonna lie, this top was actually teal, but I swapped it out for a different um, lid because it didn't match my aesthetic. <laughs> Here's the progress. Made quite a bit of progress. I semi cleaned my, my closet. It's not like the best organized, but it's better than earlier. Threw away some things. My desk looks better. This is for Alex, all his stuff. I'm gonna do my calendar, but that's all cleaned up. I changed my sheets. Uh, this is hanging because I'm gonna go to yoga tomorrow. I do need to water this plant, but looks a lot better okay so we're still in june but i do want to start filling out july because i was trying to fill out july but obviously this is from july 2020 which is so funny because look how different it looks but i did end up taking a vacation in july last year too and then I went jet skiing oh my god i have so many of these covid test days and a lot of it just work um, and all that.